Welcome on people, welcome back to Irie Farm. So babies over here. Uh, we're talking scorpions, tarantulas, leopard geckos, bearded dragon, the list goes on. So we're gonna get straight into it, jump up in this rain, hit the pet store, come back, and I'm gonna see you guys then. Uh, we made it. Get this rain. Get some crickets. AJ, hey. <laughs> nothing much. Later, later. Pretty good. It's growing. Trying to get these subscribers up. You know what I mean? So. Oh, guess what I am bringing? What? I am bringing this for Ooh, I actually read some right now. So. Listen, I'm, I'm free reading. Okay? That's what I call it. Give me five girls and one boy. That's the thing. I don't even know what the difference is. Oh, the girls are a little more heavier. Uh -huh. And the the, ah. the, the girls are a little bit rounder and uh -huh. the boys are more cheap. Okay. I'm gonna get straight to it. I actually put all of my animals inside this shed because a lot of them, even the red food, tortoises, etc., they're all babies. And typically I'm not trying to keep them outside just in the pouring rain all day. They can get things like a scale rod and all type of stuff and really not trying to face those issues. So right now, I'm going to be showing you guys just a little bit of how I have all the babies and primary iguanas and all different types of stuff just set up momentarily inside during our raiding season. So that way when the sun comes back out, we won't get them back out. Um, these guys, they're very, very intelligent. Everybody seems to be kind of relaxing. I'm not relaxing too hard because it's the moment I open up this cage, these guys are going to be running out and acting a whole fool. Um, so their names are Zoe and Zoe. This right here is a female. This actually came from a, this is a clutch that came from a, from Thai Park. And then Zoe over here. Is a rhino iguana that I got from one of my mentors, Tom Kirchfield. So I'll be showing some of their parents and how they look as adults in a minute in the next slide. But I want to go ahead and get straight to their temperament and how these guys act. So I already know Zoe, he plays no games with me. Although he's chilling in the back right now, he's doing his thing. He likes it like that. The second I try, I might try to go ahead and grab him. Oh, this is surprising. He actually let me grab him. Hello. Wow. Are you, oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. Wait, there it is. Let me grab him. Wait, 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 wait. You gotta relax there, buddy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ay! Ay! Oh, he got me. <laughs> he bit me. So, we're gonna leave Zoe alone. But as you guys can see, I not too happy, so we're gonna leave him alone. I, I see, I get you, I get you. But yeah, um, although he did bite me, um, their teeth are not nearly as big at all. They're they're really scissor-like, and 
They're for obvious reasons. They're not out here eating meat or anything like that. These guys are straight green eaters. With being green eaters, we're talking right now, they have a, uh, what is this? Hibiscus and some romaine lettuce. So they could go ahead and do their thing. She's hanging out, but she's not nearly as defensive. And Zoe, he much rather just take off without a notice. Although he didn't show it this time, he much rather just take off and just go screaming around the, the whole cage and acting a whole fool. Zoe, she much rather stand her ground and let you come to her. But in saying that, she still likes her space. So she might tail whip or whatever the case may be i know i know mama i know i know ah, come here come here let me show you to the people you're too pretty relax yeah as you get oh i spoke too soon very very much rather have his own have her own space she let me touch her for a quick second but my girl has boundaries Some lettuce there so that they can eat, get them boys gut feeded and all full and happy. But besides the fact, we're gonna get straight into these guys. So, um, here I have my Honduran curly haired tarantula, and she is very, very hungry. However, she is also super, super defensive. In saying that, um, as you guys can see in this habitat, it's pretty cave like. You have a, a huge cave over here. And she has a lot of spots to hide, but in saying that this animal, it will actually shoot out ernicating hairs that will like pretty much stick onto your hand. And I've actually felt them before. And it's just a defense mechanism so that pretty much the animal or whatever predator is trying to go after them is just like, hey, I don't want no smoke with you, so I'm gonna just leave you alone. And it's very, very unpleasant. But this animal has a very, very aggressive feed response. So that's why I made such a bioactive enclosure so that way when it's enriched but I know that I don't have to touch it it's all good and it's not gonna bite me so um we gonna get straight to it I'm actually gonna go ahead and throw in some crickets in there you guys watch how fast this thing grabs onto it so check this out playing no games Playing no games. So these guys, they don't get quite as big as the Australian ones, but they're still very, very beautiful animals. So. I do have a piece of lettuce in there, but that actually wasn't for him. That was um, that's for some isopods that he was munching on earlier. But this guy he does love some crickets.
here we have my Argentine red baby. She is a beauty, but however, we're gonna be closing the video with feeding her. She likes to eat a whole bunch of different things. These animals are omnivores. So, this beauty right here, she's gonna be chowing down on whatever I feed her. So you guys don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below on what animals do you guys wanna see more of. I'm gonna be seeing you guys next time here at Ayurvana. <laughs>